So let's uh, let's create a database. Let's delete a database and then do all the the CRUD operations of the create, read, update, delete of uh, records. And we put all these guys in separate uh, functions just to keep it organized. So we're just going to do a function create db. We'll do a function destroy db. Let's do delete db. So delete db. And then for all the CRUD operations, we'll do a function called insert insert record. And then we'll do the uh, the get, the update, and the uh, delete. So this should be, let's say, get record. This will be the update record. And this will be the delete record. Delete. Let me scroll up. D-E-L-E-T-E. -E, I see your delete record. So space is here. All right, so how do we uh, create one of these indexed DBs? Right here, we just need some place to uh, save it. So we'll say let db equal null. And right here, so index db comes with an API. We're going to say const request is equal to window.indexdb.open. And there are two arguments to this guy. We're going to fill in one for now, and I'll tell you what the second is in a second. So once we get the request, we need to check if the request opened or not, whether or not the opening of the database was successful. And so there are three properties within the success, or excuse me, the request that we need to fill out on error. This is a function. All these guys are functions. It gives you an event object. You copy this. Let's do a paste here. Let's do a paste here. Delete that line. And so we have on error. We have on upgrade needed. On upgrade needed. And finally, we have on success. And so on success, so on error is, of course, if there was a problem opening the database, so we're just going to say console.log problem opening db and on to on upgrade needed. And so when we open the database, there's a second parameter. This is the version number. So if we open a new database, so my test db doesn't exist, on upgrade needed gets called. This is where we define the schema or what the database looks like, basically what tables in your database you have. The index DB doesn't use tables, it uses stores. If you're familiar with uh, React, I think it's Redux and uh, Redux and Context API, they use the idea of stores, not tables. So no, uh, no columns and rows, basically just object, object stores. And so if you open up a new database, so my test DB doesn't exist, on upgrade need it gets called. If we open up an existing database, so my test DB does exist, but we increase the version number this guy gets called again. And again, this is where we define the schema or what tables, what columns, what rows, what stores are in our database. And no matter what, if we open up a new database or upgrade the database, the on success guy gets called. That's how you know for sure the, uh, the database is open. So let's just do a console.log. We'll do successfully opened database, successfully opened database. So let's fill out the uh, the actual schema of the on upgrade needed. So how do we do this? Well, we create object stores, like I said. There's no tables, there's no rows, there's no columns. So we need to save the database we got. So it's gonna be db is equal to event.target.result. So we save the database. And we need to do this here as well. So why do we need to, let me delete those two lines. Yank, paste here. And so no matter what, we need to save the database here and here. Because if we open up a database that's not new and it's not upgraded, this guy doesn't get called and only this guy gets called right here. And so if on upgrade needed doesn't get called, we're not saving the database. We have to save the database here on this line right here. Anyway, so we save the database and we need to create a store. So we're going to say db.create object store. And there are two arguments to this. The name of the store, we're going to call it, or the table, we're going to call it roster. It's going to be this data up here. We have the name, date of birth, and the, uh, the email. So we're going to say roster. And the second argument is an object with some options, the key path. The key path is the unique, I'm going to say email, is the unique key needed to identify each record. And again, it has to be unique. So we wouldn't use name because we might have two employees at the, uh, the office that have the same name. Same date of birth, but email is going to be high chances that's going to be unique among all of your employees. So we're going to choose the uh, the email as the uh, the key path. How to identify each unique record? Let me delete that comma there. So we've just created a store. How do we know this successfully created this this table successfully created? Well, this returns an object, and on that object there's a transaction object, and on that object there's a property called on complete. 
which is another function that gets an event. And this is how we know that we successfully created that store. So I'm just going to say roster store successfully. Yeah, there we go. Completed. Period. Period. There you go. And that looks good. Let's just do the uh, delete database very quickly. So just going to be window.indexedDB dot delete database and we give in the name of the database there we go and this returns an object as well a request and we can check the request i'm just going to say request dot on uh, success i'm not going to do all the uh, the on error stuff so function event console.log let's say database successfully uh, closed or deleted period there we go Let's see if these guys actually work. I'm going to call these right away here. Create DB, and I'll call the uh, delete DB right after. These are asynchronous, so you can't just call them like this. You have to do some promise work, so I'm just going to call one guy like this. We're going to go here, and we have roster store successfully completed, and then we have successfully opened the database. Let's go back here, call the delete database, and we have DB successfully deleted. Let's move on to the uh, the CRUD operations, the create, read, update, and delete. Let me just scroll up just a bit. So do any sort of uh, any sort of operation like that. We need to do transactions with the store. We got a glimpse of that right here, this transaction stuff. So let's just do this. We're going to check if we have a database first. So if db, and then we're going to say const, we'll say insert transaction, transaction, and we need to tie a transaction with the uh, the stores. So we're just going to say db.transaction, and we'll say roster, and then two arguments here, the name of the store, or stores, you'll see why in a second, and the operations you want to perform on that store. So read, write, I think there's read, write, read only, and there's one more I can't remember. Just check out the, uh, the indexed db API docs. So we're gonna, after that, we're just going to say, let me clean up, so const, and we'll say stores equal to insert transaction, dot object store and again with the uh, the roster now why do we write this roster stuff twice the first argument of this transaction is not actually well it doesn't have to be a string it's an array of strings and these strings are all of these stores you created here right here yeah right here and so ideally or in another situation if we had more stores more tables we could say roster we could say let's say location Let's do know, job title. So you tie a transaction with all these stores, and then you'd be specific about which store you want to perform that transaction on or open the transaction on. But since we only have one store, it looks like this. You can delete all this. All right, so once we have the store, we can perform an add. So we just add the record like this. Now, what are we adding? We're adding this object here with the key path being the email. Um, we want to add more than one record. So if we're going to accept records, plural, then we're going to loop through all of the ads and loop through all the records and add them like this. So we'll just do records dot for each, and we'll do record, and then we'll do the add. And just like when we did the requests up here or up here, we get a request object sent back from this guy right here. So we'll say let request equal this. And of course, we have the on error on success thing. So on error is equal to function event. And we'll say console.log could not, could not add. And I'll just do the, uh, the current record we're trying to add, ecrd. If success, we'll do request. That on success equals function as well. And we're not really using the event, so I'll just omit it. Let's say console.log and successfully added. And then I'll just do the record right here. Now, once all these, it's like a batch, a batch of transactions. These guys are here. Once all of the transactions are done, we can also do something like this insert transaction dot on error equals to a function. We're not using the event, so I'll just omit it. Console.log. And I'll say problem with transactions. But if all the transactions, this whole loop uh, successfully added all the uh, 
the transactions and we can do an insert transaction dot on complete is equal to a function don't need the event console.log and we'll say transactions we'll say all transactions all transactions complete so let's test this to see if it works so once we've created the database right here we are going to do an insert records and we're just going to give the data here this uh, roster data roster so now when we uncomment this create db let's see what we get in our console problem opening db and that's because this insert record needs to be here on success not in the uh, on upgrade needed we'll save actually let's delete the database save successfully deleted create the db and we get this so roster store successfully completed successfully opened the db successfully added all of these uh these records one two three there's the fourth one and then of course all transactions complete so that's the basic uh logic of performing some sort of operation on the uh on the database so we can just copy this paste it for the rest of them and fill it out so you yank that go to the get or the read we'll go to the update or the put and finally we'll do the delete so let's tackle the get record so let me do this there we go so get record has a parameter we're just going to get the email name we're searching by the key path right the key path being this guy right ba, 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 ba. where are you key path key path key path right here searching by email so if db we'll rename this to get transaction this is also get transaction we don't need to write so we can just do a read only so read only these guys can stay the same problem with transactions all transactions complete we don't need the loop so we can delete that delete this as well and the request store.add we need store.get and we'll do a email here function event could not get and we'll just say no we'll just say email like this and on success we'll do successfully got got retrieved we'll do retrieved retrieved ie or ei retrieved and email and there we go let's test this guy out so save and there's gonna be some errors here create the database we don't need to do this again we don't need to insert these records over and over save all right successfully open db let's do a get record and one of those emails is what yeah at lll.org yeah at lll.org uncaught insert transaction is not defined and that is because this right here should be get transaction get transaction save go back we'll do a get and successfully retrieved yeah at all let's print that uh, all that stuff out right i did this twice in here excuse me that should be down here so once we get the uh the record we'll do this successfully what are we looking for successfully retrieved successfully retrieved right here retrieved so the email will just do this we get the event and it should be in event.target.result let's try again there successfully retrieve this guy name is s emails like yes stuff and the date of birth there so let's go ahead and finish the uh the last two here the update and the uh the delete so this guy should be update transaction I'll say this update transaction and want to read write of course this guy should be also update transaction and this guy as well update transaction ba -ba -ba -ba. you don't need to loop so when we update a transaction we just do it by record just like when we uh we insert so we're not going to really do a loop of uh, an array of records we're just going to do one record like this and instead of instead of this uh, add we'll just do a put of the record that came in could not add it could not update record successfully updated 
record. There we go. And let's finish off the uh, the delete guy. So this should be delete, delete transaction, transaction. We don't need to read. Yeah, we do need to read write. This guy should be delete transaction as well. Delete transaction. Delete transaction. And we don't need to loop, so we can delete that. And this should just be a delete. Delete. And we delete by the email, just like we get by the email. We'll delete by the email. Email. Could not delete. Email could not or successfully deleted email. All right, so let's call these uh, these these functions. So clean up the uh, format. Let's go back to here and let's do a get. So get record. Yeah, at LLL. So that's the record here. Let's modify the the name of the record. So let's do a update record. Update record. We need three things. We need the name, which will say, now let's go uh, Shlomo, Shlomo, there we go. We need the DOB, uh, we don't need to update that, but whatever, 22, 11, 80. And of course the email we need, which is, yeah, at LLL.org, close that, all right. Successfully updated. Let's see if it actually updates. Let's get that record again. And we have the updated record right here. Shlomo. Let me do this. We have the Shlomo. Yeah, LL, well, whatever. Let's delete that record. So delete. No, delete record. The email will be yeah at ll.org. Successfully deleted. Let's see if it actually did that. Let's get that record and successfully retrieved undefined. Now we can go into the code and save that so it doesn't say successfully retrieved, but whatever. All right, so we can get, we can insert, we can update, and we can delete. That's the uh, the basic gist of the, uh, the indexed uh, DP API. Anyways, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.